Hey guys, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I messed up so huge. So the other day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film a reaction to the warning singing Hell You Call a Dream live on Shipwrecked. So the boat cruise that they did. And uh, also I did go live today, which is Thursday. You're probably seeing this on a different day. I went live on Thursday with Bell Development and Dane Bramage Rocks. And uh, we were talking to Freeze the Fall and everything was going great. And then I realized, oh, I got to react to how you call a dream. Maybe I'll just, you know, basically put both of those videos in one to make room for my recording of the live stream with Freeze the Fall. I deleted all the videos on my computer that I previously reacted to, emptied the trash. <laughs> And then right now, as I'm getting ready to film this new video that The Warning officially came out with, I realized oh, I deleted my reaction to Shipwrecked or Shiprocked or Shipwrecked, whatever it's called, Shiprocked. So you won't be seeing that. Um, you guys know I don't react to things twice, but I'll just say this. It was great. Um, the parts that I can remember was that I was completely and utterly stunned by Danny's vocals stunned by her live vocals. Um, I loved that Pow was singing some of the backup vocals. I realized the backing vocals were not during the first half of the song, but they kind of came in near the end, which I thought was interesting. Overall, it was a sick live performance and I'm really sad I can't share that video with you, uh, but maybe one day I'll do a live stream and we can just re-watch it together. Okay, so we're getting <laughs> ready to react to Hell You Call a Dream live from the Pepsi Center. Now listen, somebody told me this little tidbit of information when The Warning did their Patreon chat that someone asked the question, are you going to be releasing any of this footage? And they said, uh, I think they said something to the extent of, we're not sure yet. And so hearing that, I was like, ah, so it's either not going to happen anytime soon or it might not happen at all. So I'll just start reacting to, you know, fan cams. It's fine. I'll do a fan cam. So... <sighs> I'm just so excited that they released at least this song. I don't know if the whole Pepsi Center show will be released. I'm praying to God it is because I'm dying to see it, especially Pow singing Breathe. Like, I need to see that. So until that happens, I'm going to stick with what I know and not react to any more fan cams. I'm just not going to do it. Simple as that. So thank you to The Warning for releasing this video. Let's get into it. Oh, I love it. Colliding 
every time that chaos drives me wild like an animal oh, just yeah. wanna breathe. I love that they keep the crowd screaming for a bit. I love that. And the fade out, very, very nice. Huh, I am so glad they released that because that sounded fantastic. Danny's voice is so raw. The way she can switch from like a pretty voice to that grunge, ooh, it's so freaking fantastic. <laughs> like I can't even deal. I love that you can hear Allie's bass so well. I love Pow's like just happiness to be playing that song live. Oh my God, what a video. I kind of wish that there was like the introduction to the song. I would, that's, this is why I need the full Pepsi Center video. I want to see every little tidbit of information. I want to see them like announcing the song. We're going to play a new song, blah, blah, blah. But I get why that's not in this because it's just a live version of a new song they just dropped. So I totally understand, but I really want to see this full version. Can we just talk about this part though with Danny? Like, how pretty is this? Perfection. And then this. And that's how you call a dream. Like that grit. Mm. I think the thing that I love a lot about this song, which is odd for me because I'm such a guitar junkie, is that the second verse. Danny's not playing shit. She's just giving it her all. And I think I just love that so much because it just gives you time to hear Allie's bass and the drums. And it's just, I don't know, it's like my favorite part besides obviously the vocals like this. My vision's blurry as the pain keeps crawling up my skin. The pressure's building and I'm on the verge of caving in. It just sounds so good. And then like the full sound coming back in the chorus, it's just, I'm so curious who said, let's just strip the guitar out for verse two. Because if someone said that to me, I'd be like, why? But I get it. It just gives you that build to the song. And then when you get to like the final chorus where Danny just goes off on her vocals, it just continuously builds and builds and builds. And then it ends just with so much freaking passion. And it's how you call it love the ending. I think it's Pau's smile that does it for me. I don't know why. It's like I'm getting emotional because of how happy she looks when she's playing. Look. Did you see that drum? I, I didn't even see that the first time. One more time for the people in the back. I love how Pow can have like that smile face when she's playing. She's just like, and then she gets so serious when she does something like a little bit more difficult. I just, I love her facial expressions. Like her facial expressions are everything. And Allie's singing, you guys. If you don't know, I have been privileged to see The Warning Live, but the privilege is so much more real when you get to hear Allie sing two songs live. And that normally doesn't happen. So I'm very honored that I was at that show and and I got to hear her sing. And I remember distinctively looking at my friend Kaylee and going, I don't understand. Everyone said Allie doesn't sing. Why doesn't she sing? She's fantastic. I don't know what's going on. And I just remember Kaylee going, 
like this is Kaylee looking up at the stage. Why are they all so pretty? <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> that was the best show ever. All right, let's listen to Ali sing this part, which is amazing. Like an animal, just, wanna be just another excuse for me to listen to Danny sing. Maybe you She sounds so much like Danny, no? Like, it's so crazy how, like, like they're sisters. They're going to sound a little similar. But I remember hearing Ali sing live, and I was like, oh, she has, like, a deeper voice. But she nailed that. Like, it literally sounds like a backing track. I'm, like, impressed. I'm impressed with those vocals. Wow. Okay, guys. Honestly, it must be, like, a blessing in disguise that my ship rocked video got deleted because I am so happy with this. I am waiting. I am waiting for this whole show to get released. I'm so excited. This weekend has been just great for music. Like this, like this past week has been sick for music and I'm so excited. Go check out Freeze the Fall. They have a new song. Go check out the original, the warning video for the live and their original song. Grey Wind has a new EP coming out tomorrow. So go check that out. And Sleep Token is my vinyl of the day. This is this place. I had to really look at that. This place will become your tomb. I just got it on vinyl and I'm so, I'm just so proud. It is a beautiful pink and blue marble. Mm. If you guys want to see what it looks like, I do have a short on my YouTube channel where I open both this and sundowning. And one day I will get my little hands on Take Me Back to Eden because I think that's still my favorite album. Yeah, that one then sundowning, and then this place will become your tomb. Only for the simple fact that I'm still new to this album. I've heard it once in full, obviously, in my reaction, which you can go watch. It's in three parts. And I've been, like, slowly listening to it, but, like, I just keep going back to Take Me Back to Eden. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But don't get me wrong. Some of these songs are bangers, okay? Like, let's just, let's just, let's just talk about it. I'm trying to think like what my favorite song off this is and I'm just like oh every song is good I can't choose guys I'm sorry anyways go check out that album go check out that reaction I will leave a link to it at the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video the warning army love you the most